Hello there kids, today we are going to talk about endangered animals in the Philippines. Okay. So, Philippines is a home to a lot of endemic animals. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng endemic? Endemic refers to uh, animals that can only be found exclusively in a specific place or country. Okay, yan ang ibig sabihin ng endemic animals. Okay. Again, endemic animals mean that these animals can only be found exclusively in specific places or countries. Some of the endemic animals in the Philippines are closing to extinction. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng extinction? Okay. Extinct refers to no longer, uh, no longer in existence. Ibig sabihin wala na, hindi na natin mahanap such as itong mammoth. Okay. We, we, you won't be able to find a mammoth dito sa mundo. Okay. And also uh, the saber-toothed cat. Okay, so if you notice, no, these are characters that you'll be able to find sa Ice Age. And also the dodo bird. Okay, yung dodo. So again, extinct refers to no longer in existence. Ibig sabihin hindi na siya makita. You will no longer be able to find these animals. Uh, kahit saan pa kayo pumunta sa mundo. Okay. Endangered. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng endangered since we're talking about endangered animals in the Philippines? So, basically, this is like the last step before going to extinction. Few in numbers and are about to get extinct. Kaunti na lang. So, limited numbers na lang and parang mahirap na for them to to reproduce. No? So, that's what you mean by endangered. Few in numbers and are about to get extinct. Like Unlike mga dogs, no? For example, you have dogs, cats. Especially here in the Philippines, if you just walk around in a certain corner, you'll see dogs, you'll see cats. In in certain barangays, you'll 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 basically encounter countless uh, number of dogs and cats, stray dogs and stray cats. Uh, what more pa yung mga kung isasalin yun yung mga uh, pets, no? mga dogs and cats that have homes. So they are not examples of endangered animals as you can basically find one <laughs> kahit saan kayo pupunta. So, endangered ones are referred to those na hindi na natin masyadong nakikita kasi kakaunti na lang sila. Which means they can be extinct in uh, in the coming years. 5, 10, 100 years. Yan, yan yung basis natin when it when it comes to extinction. Okay, endangered animals in the Philippines. Examples of endangered animals in the Philippines. The dwarf goby. So, m very small fish. One of the smallest fish in the world. Slowly disappearing due to overpopulated waters. Ano nga ba y uh, ano yung cause ng uh, why they are disappearing due to overpopulated waters? So, the possible... Uh, it doesn't mean that they don't have the room anymore. Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin that they, they don't have the room anymore. Pero, uh, what the... What the uh, sentence is trying to tell us is uh, populated na marami ng mga bigger fish kasi nga one of the smallest ito so bigger fish in which they can basically feed on them so pwede silang kainin so mas kumakaunti sila so that's uh, basically the point of slowly disappearing due to over overpopulated uh, waters okay. so next is the whale shark, or in Tagalog, we call it the butanding. Known as the largest fish in the world and is found in the seas of Donsol, Sorsogon, and Oslob, Cebu. Okay, so that's an example, a, a, a photo of the whale shark, or butanding. Okay, next is the Philippine eagle, the country's largest eagle and is known as the national bird of the Philippines. Pambansang ibon ng Pilipinas. Again, the Philippine eagle, the country's largest eagle and is known as the national bird of the Philippines. Pambansang ibon ng Pilipinas. Sikaw or dugong. Okay. Parang, pa, parang pwede na rin. No? So, a sea animal found in Palawan, it is an herbivore that feeds on sea grasses. That's why basically siguro why it's called a Si kau, parang sinlaki siguro siya ng isang kau and feeds on sea grasses. Okay? Tamarau. 
looks like a carabao but having V-shaped horns. So if you notice yung the usual typical carabao na meron tayo makikita is papuntang dito. Wider ba? No, it's wider compared to this one which uh, basically forms a V-shaped horn. So tamaraws can be found in Mon Mindoro. So specific place na lang kakaunti na lang talaga sila. Pawikan or sea turtle found in seas of Cebu. Poachers hunt sea turtles to make use of their shells to make products like hair clips and house decor. So, tignan nyo, no? Knowing that they are already endangered, and then here comes mga nagahunt pa talaga sa kanila to kill them to make use of their shells. So, how heartless is that? You already know na kakaunti na lang sila. That's why it is very, it is illegal. No, yan yung, yan yung point ng, uh, we basically have this certain law nga sa Philippines that protects the endangered species dito sa ating country. So how can you save help save our endangered animals? So there is there are laws that help protect endangered animals. One of them is the Endangered Species Act of 1973. It holds up the conservation of species where which are endangered or threatened and also the ecosystem that they depend on so hindi lang the animals but we also refer to their areas for example in a certain environment in a certain ecosystem dyan nakatira yung let's say yung yung sea turtles nga so hindi pwede dyan nakatira yung let's say yung mga sea turtles or pawikan Hin you you can't pollute that area that will somehow be part of uh, the ano pa to? that is like a part of the law it's like if you're going if you're going to kill the ecosystem, it's basically referring to you also killing the endangered animals. Tinetrethen natin ang life nila. Because if you're going to do that, well, mawawalan sila ng bahay. Okay? Where to live. So, mamamatay sila eventually. Okay? So, that's what you mean by not just basically conserving the species, but also the ecosystem that they depend on. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin yan. Okay? It, up it upholds the conservation of species which are endangered or threatened and also the ecosystem that they depend on so hindi lang ang species ha? again the species act of 1973 implies that uh, we need to conserve the species not just the species but also the ecosystem because without their house with their, without their home rather uh, most likely they will die eventually so we don't j need we uh, we need to protect not just the species but also their ecosystem as well okay so, it is our responsibility as humans to conserve and protect endangered animals. Like what the law said, hindi lang ang animals but also their ecosystem. So, what can you do to help endangered species? Number one, do not patronize products made from ba the body parts of these endangered animals. O, ito na nyo. Ginagawang uh, banduria. Is this a guitar or banduria? So, ginagamit yung shell. Ginagawang figurine yung mga shells. And other parts, necklace, oh. See? Pinapatay to make products to sell. So they are making money out of it by simply killing these endangered animals. So heartless, diba? Masyadong pangit naman. I mean, considering that they are only few, very few na lang nga, diba? Kakaunti na lang masyado. So ito pa, oh, especially yung mga trunks ng certain elephants, no? Ivory, made from ivory and mga, mga ibang parts. Report illegal trade of these animals to proper authorities. Okay, so these are basically list of the of the things that you can somehow help uh, endangered species. No, so preserve the places where animals live. So like what I've said here, what I've explained earlier, not just the species, but you also need to protect their ecosystem. Keep animal habit animals habitat clean. Do not pollute their environment. Kasi as simple as throwing a piece of plastic, kung mapapansin nyo ngayon itong, ito, itong turtle, so my, there's a plastic sa mouth niya. And of course, hindi siya human being. It doesn't know what to do since meron nga siyang dyan. I mean, for us, we can directly remove it from our face or from our nose or mouth. Ang, ang turtle na to, hindi niya na magagawa yan by itself. Unless uh, maghanap siya ng way like to maybe hit yung tip of his its nose uh, sa surface like sa coral ba or sa mga bato to remove that plastic so that's one example do not pollute a simple plastic can kill an animal they can choke on it it can cover their parts of their body in which they need to breathe 
it can choke their neck. If malaki yung plastic, they can get inside it. Tapos wala na. They will, they will panic and eventually die. No? So, please, mga basic plastic ninyo, tapon nyo na lang sa basura. Properly. Okay. Support groups that advocate animal preservation. Okay. So, we are going to have a project and this project is poster making, saving endangered species. So, you can, you can get titles out of the given uh, ano pa to? examples. And basically, the one that you can do is ito. Protect endangered animals. Ito yung pinaka-ideal that you can do. Magdodraw lang kayo. So, you can get copies. Uh, you can you can just Google for certain endangered species. Uh, I would e encourage you to do dito sa Philippines. Also, kung gusto nyo sa buong mundo, okay lang din. Walang problema. I can consider that as well. So, it's up to you. It can be as simple as this one. Pero ito kasi na masyadong simple. This is, uh, I, I, I took this for the title, Sir, Save Our Species. So, parang ganyan. Uh, Earth Day Endangered Animals Poster Project. Uh, this is not part of the the one. Anyway, ito, Protect Endangered Animals. This is one of the ideal, itong dalawa. So, you can draw, um, ano yung gagawin nyo dito? You can basically just draw uh, endangered animals either around the world or dito sa Philippines. Uh, at least tatlo. You can do more uh, if you want to. Nasa sa inyo na yan. Okay? So, uh, yun. Then, you can choose certain, uh, like a saying. Like in this case, protect endangered animals. You can Google more. Mag-Google kayo you, or you can come up with your own words. Nasa sa inyo na yan. Okay? Kung ano yung magiging parang title or the theme of your project. Okay? So, uh, things to prepare. One-fourth illustration board. So, you're going to make use of a one fourth illustration board of course pencil and eraser for the outline kasi ala nga naman mag crayon kaya kagad or colored pencil so you need pencil and eraser for outline and of course coloring material so it's up to you whatever you want to make use of pwedeng watercolor crayon uh, colored pencil nasa sa inyo na as long as it's a coloring material kung gusto nyo actual paint nasa sa inyo na yan like what i've said it's up to you as long as you'll end up with having a project. The deadline will be sent in our group chat. I will not uh, announce the uh, deadline dito sa video na to. So, that is basically it. Ito yung topic natin for this week.